My brothers and I, James, Virgil, and Morgan Earp, came to Tombstone in 79, hoping to cash in on the Silver Rush without having to swing a pickaxe. There's plenty of money to be made, and not just by the miners. It would be the saloons, the casinos, and the brothels. Everybody's a winner. And the Earps are looking to make money any way they can. Virgil. Quiet. How are you, brother? I'm good. Good to see you. At different points, the Earps were in a position to make a good deal of money, and it all fell apart because they got involved in the law. Sheriff, these are my brothers. Sir? Morgan. What? Sure. Morgan, the tombstone. What do we head on inside? Virgil, Morgan, and I all served as lawmen before, in rugged railheads like Wichita, Ellsworth, and Dodge City back in Kansas. But the outlaws back east are no match for these Arizona boys. On Tombstone, the outlaws are a little more sophisticated. They're a little more organized. You might say that there was even a cowboy mafia emerging from the ranch land surrounding Tombstone, that if you get caught in the crosshairs of those cowboys, you're in for a pack of trouble. Today, the word cowboy is one word. And back then, it's two words. And it's a derogatory term, a deadbeat and a criminal. Tombstone's businessmen saw me and my brothers as the solution to their outlaw problem. Virgil accepted an appointment as Tombstone's new deputy marshal. And within a year of our arrival in Tombstone, I became the deputy sheriff of Pima County. The Earps never intended to have a career in the law. It just seems that law jobs constantly were falling in their laps. It wasn't long before I was called on to contend with hard-drinking, trigger-happy cowboys like Curly Bill Brocious. We can't go one night without you raising hell. I guess not. You don't like it. You can kiss my <laughs> Son of a <laughs> Give me those pistols. Well, come on, Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the fact that Wyatt Earp was considered to be a man of action, he only very rarely fired his gun. He preferred instead to crack people over the head with the barrel of his gun, and that was known as buffaloing. He was looking right at you, and he'd just go so fast that you, you boom, the next thing you knew, you'd been hit, you, you hardly saw it. What the hell do you think you're doing, Earp? I'm taking him in. You ain't taking him nowhere, Wyatt. And which one of you wants to be on the working end of this pistol? This ain't over. Let's just bring him up right now. Yeah! yeah.